Now the hope of being big in Japan is a holy grail for many exporters, especially the music business, and for good reason. Japan is Britain's second biggest overseas music market after the US, with Coldplay our biggest export there. Later this week, a trade mission from the UK will head to Tokyo in a bid to win even more of the £2.7 billion a year market. I'm joined in this studio now by Phil Patterson, who is leading that team on the trip to Japan, and Martin Schoen from the band Honey Rider. Gents, Hello. thanks you for think? joining us. I was going to say which one's the pop star, but I think we can work that out. Obvious, isn't it? It's really? you, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> Phil, I've been on a couple of trade missions to Japan, and mm -hmm. I remember them well. Lots of parties, dinner with the ambassador, all swanky stuff, but how much business gets done? Well, what we've done actually at UK Trade and Investment is managed to um, look to uh, get an ex education process going for the uh, British companies that come out with us. And uh, we put them uh, in a room with uh, experts on the industry in the marketplace, as well as giving them opportunities through the British Embassy uh, to actually present their uh, music and their artists to the industry there. So you'll be taking out other artists, I don't know, music companies? Oh, yeah, we've got uh, 35 companies. We've got a, a DVD with a lot of presentations on there, which will be presented to the industry, invited audience from the Japanese industry. Uh, we normally get about 150 to 200 delegates from the Japanese industry, from the live section, which is obviously very, very important in the marketplace, uh, around the world as well as in Japan, um, and also from publishing um, uh, record companies, um, digital everything else it's uh, you know anywhere that you can monetize your music and your artists in the marketplace martin what about that uh, in japan british fashion has long been right up there paul smith is a is a legend in japan but why british music how does it work how does it translate i think they've got a really diverse sort of taste out there and uh, they like all sorts they like melodic music like a real kind of punky rock music as well like sex pistols are really big out there um i think you know they've just got a good good taste of music and it's a huge market and something that we'd love to penetrate um are, are they up to pace with British acts? Because I can remember going to Romania in the sort of mid-1980s and all the Romanians then thought that Engelbert Humperdinck was number one in Britain, you know, and he was from the 60s. Have they caught up in Tokyo? I think, I think they have caught up a little bit these days, yeah. So why Coldplay and not, say, I don't know, Amy Winehouse? I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe it's just a melodic thing that sort of fits through. Maybe, maybe they're less kind of paparazzi-esque out there. Maybe it's more just the music. I think Amy Wayne actually does do okay in the marketplace as well. Last year at uh, the big Summer Sonic Festival, um, which is held in um, Osaka and Tokyo over, two, over one weekend, um, I think 60% of the acts that performed that weekend were from the UK. Have you been so, to Tokyo, tried to perform there? No, never actually. Love to go. So, you know, can't wait to actually uh, to be a part of it. If I can give you a tip, make sure you get over the jet lag before you do. When I was there, it was okay. a complete nightmare. There's your band. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's not you, but that's the band. And uh, let's hope you'll be in Tokyo pretty soon. If you do crack it, if I can put it that way, in Tokyo when you get out there, what's the best you can hope for in terms of business? Well, I mean, export obviously is a great opportunity in the recession that we're all living in at the moment to actually uh, try and bring us out of that recession. And uh, so we're looking from UK trade and investment point of view to, to actually look at the various markets in the world and the opportunities that are going to be doing that. Japan being the second, second biggest market, as you mentioned earlier. Um, the US, we do trade missions to the US to, from a synchronization opportunity. Um, one of which I think um, Martin's producer came on recently yeah. and actually had some great opportunities there as well. Yep. And, and I think that the, the opportunities in Japan in particular because of the high price product um, and, and the fascination for 40, 50 years in British music and the innovation that, that we bring to the music scene of the world, I think has helped us get to that peak. So there is many opportunities for acts, whether it be jazz acts, um, that maybe only sell two or three thousand albums, right through to the big rock stars like Coldplay. And well, what about piracy? Because that's a huge issue here, isn't it, for British music? Does it go on all over the world? I think it does go on all over the world, yes. But, you know, I mean, they're really trying to counteract it these days with new systems. And I think they're, they're winning the war, starting to win the war anyway. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a question of getting your music out there, really, for, for bands like us who are independent. Um, you know, if we can reach as many people, great, you know, and I guess piracy does go on, but then people do pay for concerts as well, you know, the live scene is huge in Japan, so it's something that, you know, we'd love to go out and do. You're nodding, Phil. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, worldwide, I mean, live and digital 
uh, and synchronization opportunities are really the revenue streams um, with the decline of physical sales, particularly uh, around the world. They're the revenue streams, as Martin's alluded to, that are going to bring, you know, um, more people are discovering music because of the internet. Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, they're, they're downloading a lot of it for free, but they're discovering new I'm artists and everything else. I'm going to have to stop you there, Phil. I'm sorry. I'm being shouted at by my producer. Nice of you to come in. Many thanks. We appreciate Thank it. Pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, today's numbers.